That's a really good, that's good thinking because I think that that part of the story, it does happen, but it's not on these pages, right? So really we have to use the evidence only on these pages to figure out this answer. So even though Danny might be feeling lonely at other parts of the book, it's not for this piece. So can you think of another word that Danny might be feeling? Think about what's going on here. He's sitting with his dad. His dad's telling him a story about, you know, how he felt in fourth grade. And definitely something starts to happen here. His eyes were wet. He took off the hat. He rubbed his eyes with the back of his hand. What, what's a word that we can kind of describe Danny's mood as, Jessica? Sad. Yeah. What's the evidence that supports sad? That we go ahead, go look in your book, because that's what you need. You need that book. Are you, on my, are you on page 24 like I am? Excellent, so let's look up here. His eyes were wet. So when someone's eyes are wet, what does that usually mean? Crying. That they're crying, right? So the author doesn't come out and say, hey, Danny's crying over here. No, he uses other words to kind of describe that. So Manuel, do you see how we really found evidence that supports sad? And even though you're right, Danny feels lonely in this book, definitely. But in this specific part, it's more sadness because of that evidence of his eyes were wet.